This easy five ingredient showstopper, an indulgent tear and share bread with oozy camembert for dunking. You'll have them fighting over it. I'm supposed to be doing this recipe on my own, but he wants to play with daddy. So that is Christmas, right? Always juggling, always hands full. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. All you need is camembert, fresh rosemary, strong bread flour, garlic, and dried yeast. So this is Baby River, and he's the youngest one of the Oliver clan. So we're going to make a Christmas tree shaped tear and share bread that you can dip in camembert, and people are going to go mad for it. It's so simple, you can even do it with one hand. So I'm going to do it all in here, less washing up. I'm going to put 800 grams of strong flour. Of course, you can do it by hand in a bowl. I have a sachet of yeast. They're always seven grams. A nice pinch of salt. Then I'm going to add about 500 millilitres of warm water. Put the lid on and just pulse it. And it will bring the dough together, almost like you're kneading it by hand. Woo! 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 We now have a basic white dough. Can you see it's humid here? That's the perfect environment with the heat of the engine for it to prove. So let that double in size to about 40 minutes, and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So the idea was I'd wear him out and I'd be back on my own, but I've actually gained an extra child. This is Petal. Get some greaseproof paper, dust with some flour, and then what I can do is start to stencil a Christmas tree. Forming a template to put our little dough balls in. In here, in the mixer, it's doubled in size. So just a little flour here. You ready for this? Ready, ready, this. And I want about 30 edible baubles. Petal's going to help me. Just put your hand around like that, and then you get a nice, tight little ball. And I want to place this ball onto my Christmas tree here. <laughs> but you'll get the idea. So, River, what's this? Glallywell. A glallywell. So, we're going to take the glallywell cheese, and what I'm going to do is take the frame, and I'm going to place it here as our guide. So, Petal, do two at once, and I need you to go like that really fast. I can't. Go on, you can do it. We're all going fast. Look, really fast, really fast. Stay there. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Petal's done a fine job of placing this within the shape of the stencil. Thank you, Petal. Amazing. The fire engine has gone across the kitchen. The cheese is now on the floor. We're now going to let this double for one hour oh, no, so you get a spongy bread and then we'll cook it. Merry Christmas. So the bread's proved for about an hour, and I've managed to save the cheese. I'm using camembert, which is perfect for this dish, as it comes in its very own box. Now, on the cheese front, there's a little preparation that I want to do to make it the most incredible cheesy lava. Think fondue. Put the tip of your knife just into it like that. What we'll do is just quickly remove that little skin. Get yourself two or three fat cloves of garlic and make it nice and fine. And what we're going to do is just dress this garlic in a little oil. We know that garlic and bread works. Best friends, best friends. But with the oozy, gorgeous cheese, this is going to be nuts. I'm happy. And then we've got a little bit of rosemary, a nice bit of olive oil. Brilliant, brilliant flavours. Let's have a look at our Christmas tree. Ha-ha! <laughs> so the yeast has kicked into action and it's doubled the little buns in size. Then I can take one of these camembert and put it back in the box from once it came. Of course, when we completely destroy that camembert and it's gone, but we still got buns, we can put another one back in its box and we can replace it. For our final flourish, dot sprigs of rosemary all over your tree. So look at that, come on, Merry Christmas. I am childishly proud of that. It goes in the oven for half an hour at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. Put it in the oven, and then also, don't forget your second one. We can pop that at the bottom, leave it for half an hour, and people are going to love it. <laughs> oh, you little beauty. 
<laughs> it is blipping away and it is gorgeous. Wowzers. And the joy of this recipe is there's no dishing up. Let it cool and serve. Just go and steal a little Christmas decoration. Pop it in there like that. So look, enough talking. Let's just grab one, hot and steamy, and let's just dive. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, what could be more indulgent than bread dipped in melted cheese? <laughs> A big show-off party bread that's as easy as it is impressive. The perfect treat for when you're having a cheeky Christmas drink with family and friends. Now for a classic cocktail, elevated to a Christmas corker. This cocktail is for me. It's a bit more flamboyant. It's a frozen berry Christmas margarita. Come on! And it's going to give me a little pick-me-up to take me through the day. So in a liquidizer, I am going to put 50 mils of lime juice. And then I'm going to top up this with 100 mils of my delicious tequila and then 50 mils of triple sec, or you could use Cointreau. And that is that beautiful, sweet orange flavor, delicious. And then take some frozen berries, just one little handful. These are a classic quick and easy time saver. Keep them in your freezer for when you need a hit of festive flavor. Then a little handful of ice goes in, and I'm gonna take a little mint, just take off two or three leaves, and then we're gonna whiz it up, and it's gonna be delicious. So in 30 seconds, oh, we've created a beautiful, beautiful Christmas berry margarita. Come on, look at that. The colour is amazing. Top it with a little bit of mint. But that is a nice little festive drink. Let's have a try. Hallelujah. It feels really Christmassy. The berries make it so. That is fresh. Psh, psh, psh. It's waking up the taste buds. It's getting me going. Easy. Merry Christmas. One for me, maybe one for Santa. Do you know what I mean? Cheers. My margarita with a frozen berry twist. Festive flavor in a flash. And a shortcut guaranteed to get you in the Christmas spirit. Oh,